dumbbell pullovers for a bigger wider back. Let me show you how to do them perfectly every time. All right, guys, what we're gonna do here, dumbbell pullovers today. So, so many people do these cross bench, meaning they take their body and they go this way with it, laying across the bench, right? No, that is not even remotely optimal for our back. Now, I will give credit where it's due. John taught me to do these with the grain of the bench. So that's where I learned these. All we're gonna do, kick it up on a leg, drop it back, keep the back side of my head off of the bench, tuck my feet underneath me and then get a huge arch. From here, I'm gonna come back and stretch my lats as deep as I can go, and then only come up to my forehead, right there, bam. Control, deep stretch, up to my forehead. Control, deep stretch, up to my forehead, just like that, every rep. Now, do's and don'ts. Now, what a lot of people start doing is they start kicking it up, right? This is a tricep, this is not lats anymore. This is all tricep, might as well be a skull crusher. Or they start doing this and cheating and coming here and taking pressure off my lats. This is not what we want. Come back, big stretch, and then go right to the forehead. Do not extend that elbow. Think about your elbow being locked in the stone. Here, bam, when you're done, sit right up. Next, bang a dumbbell pullover. And the way to even enhance the contraction even more. So let's show you how to do that. We'll get a chance to set up the camera on the tripod and then obviously you're gonna need a partner or you can slip knot it to the power rack. All right, so just so it doesn't come off, slip knot around the dumbbell, slide it all the way to the head, and then we're ready to go. All right, from here, all we're gonna do is the same thing. Boom. Now he can step back from that, so Chaz can go back to show more resistance, just like that. Right there, bam. Again, now he'll step back again because that's still too easy. Perfect. There. So let's say this right here is the perfect tension. Bam. There you go. I'm starting to fail, starting to feel it, I'm getting harder. Let's say this is the last one. I can barely get it, but I want to get some extended reps. All he'll do is come forward, give me release of tension, and then I'm still going. Just like that. So it's a great way to do what most people consider like a force rep. He's actually helped spotting me by giving me less tension on these and then done and then we're down. There you have it guys, both the banded and just the regular dumbbell pullover. These feel absolutely incredible. If you wanna increase the width of your back and all the meat that shows under your arms when you're hitting a front double, front relax, big, big believer in this. Also, a little fun fact with these, if you have really tight shoulders and have a hard time getting into your back double, this is incredible for loosening them up and gaining that range of motion back because with that dumbbell over your head getting a huge stretch, it's gonna lengthen everything out, make everything through your shoulder girdle feel significantly better. So add these into your back routine. I like them anywhere between second to the very end and then reps anywhere between 15 and 10. And with the band, I'd go down to like eight to 10. So put these in your next back workout, loosen everything up in those shoulders. And I'm telling you, get to growing now and fast. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, Chris TV.